And welcome back to some more Last of Us Part 2. Do apologize where I left off in the last part. Uh, as you can see, the game did reset. I had to load the save back up. Let's carry on where we left off at. I can't believe we have to search this area once again. I want to thank you all so much for the support for the previous parts. I know I keep saying it over and over again, but I really <laughs> can't say it enough. I'm so glad to be in the position where I am able to record this playthrough, play games for YouTube, for you all. Um, have the equipment necessary. I'm just so happy that I'm, I'm alive pretty much. <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> Your, uh, your comments are not even comments. Your support on part... Uh, let me see which part it was. It was part... 29, I believe. Uh, where we found out that... Uh, Joel was hiding something from Ellie. I remember I did swap. Yeah, and I gave my thoughts in the hospital part. When Ellie had actually uh, made... Uh, Nora talk. In not the most prettiest way. But yeah, the feedback for that episode too was tremendous. I do appreciate you all watching it. Uh, yeah, let's keep it moving. Let me craft something. We haven't crafted a silencer in a while, but I think it may be worth because we have um, a lot of bottles along the way. Where do we go? I remember... I think we actually went that way. Yeah, we went this way here. I remember because we went up there last episode. I did load the save. I actually saved the game right there, but then it brought me back here. I don't understand why that was, but yes. <laughs> I guess we have to deal with it. Holy sh- I actually made that. <laughs> Quickly reload the pistol. Or the revolver. Let me know how you're doing in the comment section. Whoa, that little voice crack. <laughs> Let me know how you're doing in the comment section below. How was your day today? It's a bunch of comics. Wait, what was happening here? A gathering for people who were really into this stuff. Like you, basically. We were born in the wrong time, man. These are expos. I've actually never been to one. I didn't mention that in a previous part. I think it was near like the hospital section. I've never been to one. I do want to go to one, but I don't know if it just interests me that much, if you get what I'm saying. Wait, one second. Is there anything out here? I don't think you can possibly even go to that restaurant bar. That looks very sectioned off. Let's go through here. Oh, we are heading towards the aquarium because that's, I believe, where Nora said um, Abby was. Or is being held. Or went. Maybe not even held. She may be the leader of the group, to be honest. Um, Abby. Wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised. What were you saying? Before? About Dean. You said she'll tell me when... Once things are wrapped up here. I guess at some point it'll get pretty hard to hide it. Do you know if she's going to keep it? I don't. These are very interesting questions that um, they're asking each other right now. From the perspective from a guy, like I'm speaking from a guy's perspective, it is, uh, I'd understand why a girl would hide it at first. But at the same time, if you tell the guy... I'm 90% sure that he will always be, n n not even 90, 99% sure, 100% sure that he will always be on your side. At least that's what a good guy would do. He'll be in favor for you, he'll do anything for you, he'll do anything for the child. Just to see you're healthy and happy. Some may be like... They may take a, another approach, like an abortion and stuff like that, which is a very sensitive topic that I don't really want to indulge on. But it all kind of depends on, like, the guy and the girl. The girl has more say than the guy, to be honest, in my, in my opinion. Look at the 
this mess. <sighs> the aquarium. It's right next to that Ferris wheel. I was hoping Tommy has the same info. I just hope he even made it there, to be honest, because I completely forgot that Tommy existed in this game, not gonna lie. Damn it. Looks like we're swimming. I don't like swimming, but we're gonna have to do it. Are you? Could you imagine if Ellie doesn't know how to swim? We'd have to do the plank thing all over again. <laughs> Probably not that healthy to actually swim in this kind of water. I mean, even for your body in general. Like, I don't know how you handle this time of temperature. I know I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> okay. We're now. Working on it. Probably across this way, right? What is that? I'm assuming that's one of those, um... They're not called gutters. I don't know what they're called, but... It's pretty much where water goes into, I believe. What is in there? Can we even go in there? Infected. Alright, it looks like we are heading that way then, I guess. Let me quickly check this way. This way. You know what? Now nah, we want to we want to actually clear out this infected place because I believe there's probably a safe here. Any place that the game wants you to go or doesn't really want you to go, but it's optional. It's probably best. Hope we just don't get run up on by an infected. <laughs> oh, fucking stalker! Those things don't appear on fucking um listening mode. Stalkers are by far the most annoying enemies after the zero fights. Actually, I think they're probably even higher than the zero fights. I flipping hate them. <laughs> The fact that they don't play on listening mode is probably the reason why I hate them the most. We're full on explosives. See one heat signature, but you never know when there's another stalker. Lurking about in the corners. If there's only one clicker left. That's it. Lucky, luckily, we had um, Jesse by our side. I don't hear anything. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Because I would not have seen that other stalker if it wasn't for him. What actually happened here? What was here originally? It seems like some sort of underground parking system or bridge. How much of this area can we explore? I don't think we can dive down. I don't think the water is that. Actually, maybe it is. What's this way? There's nothing this way. Why that way? Wait, can you not go anywhere else? Was this just a side area for like three, four parts? If so, that sucks. <laughs> but at the same time. Actually, I don't really know why I expect. Actually, wait, there is this way here. What's back here? Nothing there. Want to check every nook and cranny? I can. What does this say? Uh, guest parking area. Yeah, so it's um, some sort of like underground parking uh, system. Did 
Do you hear that? Sounded like someone was alive. <laughs> well, sounds like infect. Oh shit! Oh crap! They came behind us. Okay, now that's it. This place looks like a dead end. Yeah, I think you're right. All right, after they stop talking uh, to whatever sorry uh, uh, asshole finds me, I can barely keep my hand steady. But everyone on the base needs to know. Got ambushed on the way to relieve. Mm, I don't know how to how, how the hell you say that name. <laughs> One of the scars, I'd swear, he looks just like our boy Gray. So lightheaded, someone please put a bullet in that fucking snake face for me. Someone, so I tried to hustle Jensen. Damn, she got handed too. Do I carry the machete or do I swap for this? This hammer is actually super useful. But you know what? I think the machete may have to take the. May have to take. Ooh! May have to take the place. See, look at this. Like the first time I look at these um, enemies, correct me if I'm wrong if I didn't look at them like, properly, but they did not have that. Team Jackson. Fuck these motherfuckers. Couldn't have said it better. Yeah, finally a little bit of heartwarming <laughs> moments coming from the two characters. I wanna know actually Jesse's story. Like was he Um Was he here before Joel and uh, Ellie? From what where did he come from? What city did he come from? Who is he related to, etc. Yeah, some interesting facts that I really, really want to know. Again, I would love to see uh, some sort of um, storybook. Or a book that tells um, the characters' backstories. I actually pay for that. Or well, I would actually pay for that if they have one. It does intrigue me. But it does leave room for your own interpretation as into what happened between these characters and etc. What is on that side? Alright, he's going that side. Let's go this side. Think you can get through there? Let's see. How much do you want to bet that there's a blow on the other side? think you'd be okay with all this. I looked up to Joel. What happened to him was messed up. I would have come. That guy's leg got flipping. Joel liked you a lot too, you know? Shotgun. <laughs> he used to think I had a crush on you. <laughs> really? I mean, you're handsome and whatever, but I'm not into your type. Asians? Yeah, that's obviously what I meant. <laughs> I thought she meant gender. <laughs> I do, it's very interesting because in the first game, you wouldn't expect Ellie to be. Um, or bisexual, I should say. Uh, but, yeah, you wouldn't expect her to be bisexual, but, I don't know, it's just weird the way the Naughty Dog uh, went in this direction to present Ellie. Alright, uh, let's just jump down here. See, do you hear this music in the background? 
It sounds exactly like the PS5 promo trailer. <laughs> What was that? Do you not see something up here? I guess not. What's here? Pretty messed up. Putting fungus in the kids section. Mushrooms didn't exactly carry the same meaning back then. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, there's more notes on the left side. I didn't even read these. What does it say? The former fireflies from the hospital makes sense. This is what my gut said all along. The WLF took a bunch of them in and after they disbanded. Torture Joel. Killing him wasn't enough. Abby's hiding out in the aquarium. What I don't know. Yeah. What are the rest of them? That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's actually a big, big question. Is Tommy still alive? Hope he is. We haven't even heard of him since. I believe part 10 maybe. That like last we saw of his horse. Do I understand? <laughs> who is that? I look like flipping... I don't know who that is. Alright. Do you have a favourite book as a kid? Yeah. Battle Ghosts. It's about these space marines who fight off ghosts. Alien ghosts. <laughs> Sounds like something you'd like. Okay. What about you, smartass? Well, my mom only had this one kid's book, The Root Child. About this boy who turns into a forest to save his village. Okay. To keep things fresh, though. My mom would improvise different endings. <laughs> <laughs> this one time, the boy just let the whole village die. It gave me nightmares. <laughs> it's dark. It's really sweet she did that. Yeah. Mom's a sweetheart. She's gonna go crazy when she hears about this baby. Sure. Oh, so her mom's still... Oh, his mom's still alive. Um, injection. What does this say? Let's read. Damn, that's actually pretty deep for a child story. I've always um, noticed these things, even like Disney movies and stuff like that. Like for example, Kung Fu Panda, they're more... They're not just catered towards children, if you get what I'm saying. Like, yeah, a big fat panda <laughs> uh, doing kung fu may be catered towards a child, but the deeper meaning behind it, like, um, some of the quotes from Master Ugwe, they go a long way, not just from, to a child, but to an adult, too. I believe he's quoted once was, um, uh, what was it? The past is history. Uh, yesterday was yeah yeah no it was yesterday was history. Um, today is a mystery. Oh no, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is uh, is a gift. That's why we call it a present. I believe that was a quote. Yeah, I believe it, it was along those lines. That's a pretty deep quote, but it, it does go a long way. Even in The Lion King, where... Uh, who is it? Who is the monkey? What happened up here? These guys really have it in for each other. I think it goes back years. Wonder how it all started. Oh, uh, where the monkey said, um... Uh, to Simba, the past can hurt. But the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. And they go a long way. I'm actually... Uh, they go a long way more than flipping inspirational movies do, to be honest. <laughs> uh, where do we go from here, actually? Uh, what happened to these guys? Well, This place is fucked. Blood's still wet. Let's get back to the street. Yeah. What did this to them, or who did this to them? Those are Xerophytes.
Do I want to go down here? I should wait. It may be this way. <laughs> Ellie running kind of scared me. <laughs> One pill. Can we check? Do we have enough for an upgrade? I don't know if I ever want to upgrade this last part. Last path. I probably will eventually, but not now. I want to focus on precision. Anything down here? Wait. I don't want to swap for that. I love the machete. I think the machete is probably the best. After that big hammer. It's such a big open area, you'd expect. I'd speak. 